Hey folks, Darren here, Slaughtered Lamb Movie Podcast. I'm just going to get straight into this. Big three ranking, Halloween, Elm Street, Friday the 13th. I do tend to lean more towards Halloween, but I do like Elm Street and Friday as well. Um, so here we go. This took a while to edit. Let's go. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but nothing will ever kill me. Kids. But in the arts of death, he outdoes nature herself and produces by chemistry and machinery all the slaughter of plague, pestilence, famine, and Michael Myers. <laughs> Those FBI idiots destroyed Jason's body, so now he needs a new one. The ones he's jumping in and out of, they can't last. They get diseased, he gets weak. Jason needs to be reborn again, and he needs Jessica to do it. I think the time has come for your first swimming lesson. You don't want to end up drowning like that Borges boy, do you? You are dead meat, swine bag! Damn it! What the hell is wrong with you? I said, what you looking at me like that for? Huh? You don't get it? You don't get it? Your shit ain't working up there or something? You need to take your ass in the back of the garage with Nora. That's your job. Trick or treat, motherfucker. It's strange, Michael. In a weird way, you've become like, like my best friend. It just shows you how fucked up my life is. Freeze! You really shouldn't fall asleep in class. You just fucking die. My dad cut it out to protect me. He didn't do it. Look, he has taken everything from us. He has ruined both of our past. And I am not leaving until I see him die. Not dead. <laughs> Just very much retired. Open the door! Please come and help us! Please help us! Sammy! I'm moving him to our Scranton facility. Dr. Wimmer, you can't risk transporting him through open country. This isn't open for discussion. His unique ability to regenerate lost and damaged tissue. I mean, it just, it just cries out for more research. And you're willing to risk the deaths of innocent civilians if he escapes? Yes. Guilt over your father's death is well, it's a powerful thing. But it wasn't my father. And your mind is manufacturing his hallucinations because... It wasn't a hallucination. Yes, it was. No! Look at this. Look at that. I prayed that he would burn in hell. But in my heart, I knew that hell would not have you. You should 
shouldn't have buried me. I'm not dead. We're both fucked up. I want to help you, Corey. Let me help you. Let me help you. actually there. He watched his mom being beheaded. this place again there's been too much trouble here did you know that a young boy drowned the year before those two others were killed the counselors weren't paying any attention they were making love while that young boy drowned give it to you straight about Jason. His body was never recovered from the lake after he drowned. And if you listen to the old timers in town, they'll tell you he's still out there. Some sort of demented creature. You don't really know much about Halloween. You thought no further than the strange custom of having your children wear masks and go out begging for candy. His name is Freddy Krueger. He was a child murderer before he died. And after he died, he became something worse. Six years ago, he killed my friends. He almost killed me. No, it's Jason's dead, right? <laughs> Seeing his corpse ain't gonna stop the hallucinations. Seeing it won't, but destroying it will. Jason belongs in hell. 
I'm gonna see he gets there. Artist's conception of Jason is described by a would-be victim, right? And then, the murders. But he's dead. I am talking about the real possibility that he is still out there. Fred Krueger, Mom. Fred Krueger. Do you know who that is, Mother? Because if you do, you better tell me because he's after me now. <laughs> I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. <laughs> 